Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge, so please stay tuned. In the previous video, we did a stock update on Meta Materials and we looked at the trademark held by Meta Materials for the name Meta. We also looked at the name change of Facebook which is now known as Meta, and we looked at the legal implications of this, so please refer back to the previous video for details of the trademark and the AR and VR connection between Meta Materials and Facebook. So before we start today's stock analysis, quick reminder of the million dollar challenge. So for those of you who do not know, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million using compound return investing. So the strategy involves trying to achieve 201 trades with an average return of 3.5% and we do take into account losses and it's not 201 consecutive trades. So for the challenge, we have a, an updated spreadsheet which is updated weekly with low and medium risk stocks. Uh, many of them uh, also with target buy prices. We have uh, a growing Discord community well in excess of 300 now working together as a team in the challenge, sharing due diligence, trading tips, technical analysis, chart analysis, etc. The Discord area includes sections such as an agreement area, FAQs. You can chat and ask questions. You can share your buys. There's a king and queen alert section and also on the leaderboard with updates. And with the, we also have an exclusive strategy video to get you started in the challenge, which is not available on the public platform. And this provides more in-depth detail in terms of starting the challenge. So. Please join us on this journey, details in description below. First stock we're going to provide an update is for Tiximal MMAT, Meta Materials. I think right now this stock is at an excellent buy price, but there was some positive news. So if we have a look at the screen here, with the, the news that we've seen is um, Van, with relation to Vanguard and the headline here we can see is Vanguard has uh, reportedly increased its holding of MMAT by 38.39%. Uh, so what does this mean? So this basically means they are now holding a total value of in excess of $25 million. So this is a uh, very good news in terms of uh, significant institutional buy for uh, Meta Materials. Let's have a look at the details now of this on Fintel. So on the screen here, you'll be able to see some of the key institutional transactions, including buys and sells. So uh, right at the bottom, we can see another one before we look at the Vanguard and that is uh, BlackRock and BlackRock have a very significant holding here and they have uh, just in excess of 13 million shares at an average price of $6.63. So if we move up a few rows, we can also see Citigroup uh, have uh, institutional shares and then we can see the 13F form for confirmation on the 12th of November. Vanguard Group Incorporated have just uh, increased their holding to in excess of 4.3 million shares so great news here from um, confidence point of view and also on the same day we can also see that geo capital management another significant institutional buyer has also increased their buy and they are now holding just in excess of 3.9 million shares so good news here and then uh, the most recent one we can see here is wolverine trading just in the uh, top middle and they also increased their holding by in excess of 233,000 shares. The first stock I'd like to add to your watch list for Monday is the symbol SPI, uh, also known as SPI Energy. So this is uh, a good stock which is also related to the EV sector. And as you will know, we've uh, been having a tremendous run up in many of the EV stocks. Lucid Motors has been doing tremendously well. Uh, Tesla has also recently received, uh, achieved all time highs. We've seen a good comeback from uh, NEO. So let's now have a look at a profile here for SPI Energy. So at the top, we can see here it's a NASDAQ trading stock. It's also a global renewable energy company, a provider of solar storage and electric vehicle solutions that was founded in 2006 and headquartered in California. Uh, and at the bottom, we can see in terms of uh, the commercial operations, this includes a full spectrum of EPC services to third party developers and develops its own operates uh, solar projects that sell electricity to multiple countries and this includes the US, UK, Europe and uh, their aspect of Phoenix Motors which is also part of this company. They're, this is a leader in medium term, medium duty commercial electric vehicles. It develops EV charging solutions for electric pickups, uh, trucks, electric forklift trucks, electric scooters and other EV products. So let's now proceed to have a look at the chart. 
So on the screen here, you'll be able to see the chart for tick symbol SPI, and this goes back to just prior to March 2021. And we can see the all time high was uh, just close to $13. And since then, like many other stocks, this has generally trended downwards. And right now, if we have a look at the chart on the screen from October to November, it has uh, seen uh, strong support above $4. And right now it's been uh, consolidating just above $5 and we can see close of play on the Friday. This was uh, at trading at $5.31. Let's now have a look at a positive news headline, which I think is potentially going to act as a very strong catalyst for this stock. So this is an article from Yahoo Finance and the headline here is SPI Energy Reports Net Sales Up 41%. Uh, year on year to $79.4 million in the first half of 2021. So unlike many other EV companies, this one does generate revenue. So that's certainly very positive. And we can see here just at the bottom of the article, the company, uh, which is a global renewable energy company and provider of solar storage and electric vehicle solutions for its business, uh, just announced its financial results for the six month ending June 30th, 2021. So let's now proceed to have a look at some of the key highlights in these results. So what we can see on the screen here in terms of the key highlights, and we've just seen in the main headline, uh, revenue has gone up uh, now to $79.4 million. Previously it was $56.4 million, and this represents an increase of 41%. So that is excellent news and excellent growth. Gross profit increased to $7.4 million, up 134%. Uh, compared to the previous gross profit of $3.1 million. So cash and cash equivalents have totaled approximately $22.8 million. So the company does have significant amount of cash here. Shareholder equity has increased to $47.6 million. And the, at the bottom, we can see in terms of an overall statement, the team continues to perform extremely well across all business lines. And they, we can also see the uh, final statement at the bottom, we're still in the early days of multiple significant market opportunities. And we believe we are in a great position to accelerate growth as we continue to expand our solar operations and scale our EV production across a growing line of innovative solutions. So that's a very positive statement. It's also a strong clue in terms of them having very significant market opportunities in the early days. So potentially, uh, announcement of contracts uh, hopefully in the near term. Next stock I'd like to bring you is tick symbol GGPI, uh, also trading on the NASDAQ and also known as Gors Guggenheim. This is a stock that I previously featured a due diligence video uh, over a month ago and it was also with regard to a potential deal with Polestar. So please refer back to the previous video for more in-depth detail and due diligence for this stock. But uh, there has been some updates, so let's have a look at this stock again uh, for the watch list. We're going to start by having a look at the chart here. We can see over the previous five days, close of play on the Friday, this stock was up in excess of 17.5%, closing at $12.81. So let's now have a look at again another article from Yahoo Finance dated November the 10th. And the headline here is Polestar IPO valuation, Leo DiCaprio's Titanic electric vehicle aspirations so what we can see here is the blank check company has completed its initial I offering ipo in march and now announced its reverse merger with electric uh, vehicle maker polestar in september so the shares are now trading roughly at seven percent premium on the thursday we can see on the friday they were also up significantly so momentum is strong uh, the potential is good and uh, certainly i think this is a good stock to add to our watch list from monday the next stock I'd like to share with you is uh, a new stock to the channel, tick symbol VUZI, also trading on the NASDAQ and also known as Vuzix Corporation. So let's start by having a look at the profile of the company. So what we can see here is this is a company which is a leading supply of smart glasses and AR technologies and also products for the consumer and enterprise markets. So the company has uh, products which include personal display and wearable computer devices that offer users um, portable high quality viewing experiences. The company also holds 233 patents and patents pending in numerous licenses and IP license in video eyewear field. So the company has won uh, Consumer Electronics Show Awards for innovation over the years from 2005 to 2022 and also has several wireless technology innovation awards amongst others. So let's now proceed to have a look at the chart. Let's now have a look at the chart for uh, tick symbol VUZI. So one thing I think we can certainly see on Friday, the stock did go up well in excess of 15%. 
Uh, what we can also see is there was a significant amount of volume. The stock also broke through uh, resistance and it was also coming out of a flag formation. So on the chart here, we can also see uh, in terms of the technicals, it does, uh, there are very strong bullish uh, signals here. The MACD and the KD are now going up. The stock is looking to break the 200 day moving average and the next resistance probably around about $15.72 uh, is likely to be broken as well. So great potential here for Monday. Let's now finish off by having a look at some of the uh, catalysts driving the stock forward and what, what are the reasons why it is showing a lot more bullish momentum in the chart. So we're going to have a look at headline here from Yahoo Finance. This is a headline dated November the 11th, 2021. And the headline here is Vuzik Shield trademark smart glasses has been named as an honorary for multiple CES 2022 innovation awards. So coming through from PR Newswire, we can see the company, which is obviously a supplier of smart glasses, as we've just seen, and AR technology, uh, just announced that it has been named as a multiple CES 2022 Innovation Awards honoree for the Vuzik Shield. And the Innovation Awards program received a record number of over 1,800 submissions. So from these 1,800 submissions, this certainly is excellent news. So the announcement is also made ahead of the CES 2022 most, uh, world's most influential digital technology event happening January the 5th to January the 8th, Las Vegas, Nevada. So great news for the stock here. And finally, if anybody wants to get advanced notification of such stocks in our Discord, please join us in the uh, community. The details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.